Without data, all you've got's an opinion. I'm Andre from the High Performance Academy, and in this video, I'm going to give you some insight into what we've got planned for the two jet skis behind me. One of these skis in particular is going to be getting a MoTeC M130 plug and play ECU kit, and we're also going to be building a custom turbo kit for the ski. Before we start that though, we wanted to get some data out of the factory ECU and see how the engine was running in 100% stock form. Now fortunately for us, this is quite easy, as most of the data from the stock ECU is being transmitted over the two-wire CAN bus. What we can do is interface with this CAN bus using a MoTeC C125 dash. So that we can see the data on the CAN bus, we're using the built-in CAN analyzer software on our mainline dyno. This just requires the CAN bus from the jet ski to be connected to the dyno. Now just getting access to the information on the CAN bus is only part of the challenge. Once we've got access to the CAN bus, we also need to find the particular parameters we're interested in, and then decode them so that they actually are presented in meaningful numbers in our dash. Now the particular parameters we're interested in here include RPM, throttle position, intake air temperature, coolant temperature and also manifold pressure. The way we go about finding this information is first of all to make a change. Let's take for example the throttle position. By moving the throttle open and close we can look for what parameters or what information on the CAN bus is changing. Once we've highlighted where that particular parameter is located on the CAN bus, we can then apply some scaling so that the raw hexadecimal value being seen on the CAN bus is presented in a sensible format. In terms of the throttle position, obviously we're looking for 0 to 100%. Now as well as the information being transmitted on the CAN bus from the factory ECU, we've also fitted a MoTeC Lambda to CAN or LTC module, and this is going to give us information about the air fuel ratio that the engine is running at. Now, even fitting a wideband lambda sensor or oxygen sensor to a jet ski is difficult because the exhaust systems and the exhaust manifolds are water jacketed to control temperature or heat inside the jet ski. What we've done is taken the factory cast exhaust manifold and we've drilled and tapped it to take a Bosch LSU 4.9 lambda sensor. This then connects to the MoTeC LTC and the air fuel ratio data is again transmitted on the CAN bus. Now we're going to be able to log this in our MoTeC C125 dash now along with the factory ECU information. However when we fit our MoTeC M130 ECU we're also going to be able to use this information from the LTC to help speed up the tuning process and then once the engine is tuned we'll be able to use it for full closed loop fuel control. To keep up to date with the jet ski projects, follow our Facebook page, we'll be posting regular updates there. 